Hey guys, today we're going to build dynamic agendas or tables of contents in Thinkcell. These agendas are dynamic, which means that you can change the name of one of the sections and it updates on all the slides, and you can reorder your sections and the highlighting automatically updates. It's gonna look something like this. So with that, let's get into it. So to add a chapter in Thinkcell, we go to Insert, Elements, and hit Chapter. And you can see that's automatically added an agenda slide with a chapter label. So we can rename our chapter. So the first thing I'll do is rename this to project plan. And now we have our first uh, agenda page. So an important thing to note is if you're going to do any formatting on the agenda page, it's worth doing it first and any subsequent chapters you put in will um, inherit the formatting that you've, uh, that you've put in. So let's do that now. And what I've done there is I've held control, clicked and dragged the box to make it wider. So next thing I'll do is add another chapter in. And you can see I've got a new agenda page. Um, it's automatically gone to that page and highlighted my new chapter. So now I can rename that one. And now I'll add the chapters in for the rest of the slide deck. So now, as you can see, I've got four different sections or chapters in my slide deck. And you'll see each of the pages will have a different section highlighted. So the audience knows exactly where they are on the slide deck. So now we'll talk about how to reorder chapters. Again, there's a couple of ways to do this. So if we want to move our current state analysis to after the market analysis, we can click and drag it to the new order. And that has automatically changed the order of the slides as well. So if we go through our deck, We've got our market analysis and then our current state analysis. And this was the opposite to how it was before. We can also go into the slide sorter and we can sort the slides as normal. So for example, I want to move my current state analysis back. So I've highlighted all of the slides in current state analysis and I'll move them. And you'll see that it's automatically updated all of the agenda pages to be in the right order. And finally, as I said before, it's quite easy to update the names of your chapters or sections. You can simply update it in one of the agenda slides and you'll see that in all of the agenda slides, it's been updated. So that's it guys. That's how to add agendas in Thinkcell. I'm going to follow up this tutorial with a more advanced tutorial on how to add subsections into your Thinkcell agendas. So if you're interested in that, keep an eye out. It'll be out soon. And if you have any questions, as always, please drop them in the comment box down below. Hope that was helpful.